you know, I still don't really make the effort to actually go out and do something for me. You know, I suppose it's just habit now. It's just maybe have time on your own or just just rest. You know, probably is the fact that I've got depression. Yeah, you know, you've just no motivation when you've when you have that. So you don't. Come on, come on. I get your shoes off. No, you don't need this. Keep Kerry's on. depression is serious. But is it having an effect on Ethan at this vital time when he's trying to make his mark on the world? Where do you put them? Put them to the wash. To help her cope, she expects Ethan to do as he's told and to fit him with the rigid nightly routine. Come on. Put them. Come on. Come on. You left that behind. Put it where it belongs. Good boy. I love bed. <laughs> and I'm just, I am so whacked, I'm really tired. And it's like, oh, I'll get into bed. Sometimes you're just like, please, could I just have two minutes of quiet? You know, just turn that television off and just, just zip your mouths for two minutes just to get like silence, you know. It's seven o'clock and Ethan's going to bed. At 18 months, this is one of Ethan's first battles for independence. He doesn't want to go to bed and he's telling his mum in no uncertain terms. It was temper, that was him, he was just, he was cross, you know, like, how dare you put me to bed and, and there's people here, you know. <laughs> you know, but, oh well, tough, he went to bed and that was it. <laughs> you go to bed in this house, you go to bed. <laughs> It's difficult for depressed mothers to respond to their children's needs. This insensitivity can have a lasting effect on the way the children form relationships. But what about Ethan? We put an infrared camera in his room to look at his sleeping patterns. Though he protested, he was asleep by 7.40. Kerry, a self-confessed owl, checks him after midnight. By 5.40 in the morning, Ethan's awake and he's ready to play. Filming confirms his ActiWatch results. He's a lark. It's not till 7.15 that Kerry comes in to check him. But she doesn't get him up. She goes back to bed. Depression can affect the amount people sleep. And for Ethan, it's bad news. Ethan's dad, Jonathan, can't help in the mornings because he's out of the house early to get to the family engineering business. I'm the first stop, so I'm usually up and away, so I don't really see what else happens. Carrie's usually still in bed, and Ethan's still in bed. Normally in the morning, our house is, there's not much happens. Ethan's been in bed for over 12 hours. He's desperate to get up. Like all children, he craves attention. Mommy! Mommy! Lately, Carrie hasn't been feeling too good. Her father died suddenly earlier on in the year and she hasn't really dealt with it sort of too well. And she finds it hard getting motivated, so that she tends to get up a bit later in the morning and Ethan obviously gets up a bit later then. It's half past ten, and Ethan's had another hour's sleep. But finally, Kerry's awake. One, two, three. Oh, hello. I wouldn't say that would be a typical night now. Um, you took a while to settle, and then we you know, woke up then through the night, which is very, very rare. But I came rushing in. <laughs> And um, then he saw me and then he shouted a bit, but then he went back over to sleep again. Last night, Ethan was in bed for over 15 hours. For three and a half hours, he was awake and alone. 
He seems to be losing too many battles and he's learning he doesn't have much control over his environment. The way I feel about life now at this present time is just really what's the point at the minute. You know, I just really can't be bothered with anything. I can't see past tomorrow, <laughs> you know. Kerry has photos of her daughters that died, Jordana and Caitlin. Ethan and Jordan have been her lifeline since their deaths. If it wasn't for my two boys, I wouldn't be here, you know. And this only keep me going, which is very selfish, but it's true. There's no point learning about it. You but know? So you would have killed yourself if, if you yeah. didn't have your boys? If I hadn't had, especially if I hadn't have had Jordan, whenever Jordana and Caitlin um, died, I would have just taught myself. But then, I mean, that, that's just a state of my mind. I wouldn't have known any better. I just thought, I want to be with my kids. No, you're going to get your dinner. You're going to get your dinner and it doesn't involve crisps. What effect is Kerry's depression having on Ethan's attempts to grow up? One vital skill to be gained now is becoming sensitive to other people's emotional needs. It allows us to deal with conflict in a more mature way.